The process of flowers entering into my work happened around the same time uh, when I lost my mother to a five-year battle with cancer. And I was feeling pretty lost, as you can imagine. And I read this book by Julia Samuel called The Grief Works, which said, sometimes it helps to deal with grief when you feel like you're not forgetting someone. So she suggested that you formed a small ritual that you would practice regularly, which would honor the person that you've lost, because that would kind of, you know, you would do it instinctively and then you would never feel like you've forgotten them. So we used to live near Columbia Road Market, um, which is the flower market in London, open on a Sunday. And I always used to go anyway. I love flower markets. You know, the, I grew up going to the one in Thailand um, by the river, which I love. Um, I used to go with my mother, and on special occasions we would fill the car with flowers. You know, for 10 pounds you can fill the whole car in Thailand. <laughs> for 10 pounds you can't get a lot in London. <laughs> So my ritual became going to the market and buying flowers, bringing them home, arranging them into a vase and then photographing them. And that was like my thing to kind of, you know, think of her. And I'd do it every Sunday. And then eventually I was like, oh, it's quite a nice little body of work. And then I thought, oh, you know, what if I kind of literally arranged these flowers and then they became the prints for my scarves. And you know, I wasn't, I didn't profess to be a professional photographer, but I, d I loved it and I did a lot of photography. Um, so I just flipped the kind of way that we would normally shoot flowers in an arrangement to kind of doing it flat and I would shoot them from above. And then the thing with the inks and the water, I don't really know how that happened. In fact, I think I do remember how it happened. I was in, <laughs> I was in hospital with my mom and I'd been in there for, I think, it, I think I was in there for like almost six weeks with her. And I had to do something and there was, you know, I, I just had like a piece of paper and a pencil and then I had some of that black Indian ink, you know, to draw with. And I dropped some in the water and it made that amazing like shape. And I was like, oh, that's cool. So I started like playing with it and these little like trays that they had in the hospital. And I think it kind of came from there. And then after, she, you know, I'd left that for a while and she'd passed away and I thought, oh, actually maybe I'll mix the two things. So I sort of invented this weird way of making prints like by myself. Um, and what I realized was it became very meditative, just watching the inks walk, move through the water. <laughs> and it was like, you know, running my own business, you're just making so many decisions every day and you're having to think all the time. And, and it was just in those moments I was like, oh, I just don't have to think about anything. I can just watch this ink move through the water. And that's kind of the idea that you just slow everything down and you don't know where it's gonna go. And that's, quite healing. My name is Lisa King and I'm a London-based print artist and designer. <laughs>